Welcome to Prezium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 12 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll understand the different types of joins that are available in SQL Server, specifically cross join, inner join, and outer joins. Before continuing with this session, I strongly recommend watching parts 3 and 5 of this video series. Now, Joins in SQL Server are used to retrieve data from two or more related tables. In general, tables are related to each other using foreign key constraints. So I have this employee table on the right here, which has got ID name, gender, salary, and department ID columns. And then I have the department tab table itself here, which has got the department name, the location that the department is present at, and the department head. Now if you look at these, these two tables are related using this foreign key department ID. Now if you're not sure what foreign key is, please watch part three of this video series. So these two are related tables. Now let's say I ask you to write a query which will give me an output as shown here on the left hand side. I want the name of the employee, gender, salary, and the department name. And if you look at the output columns that I require, the first three columns, name, gender, and salary, they are present in the employee table, whereas the department name is present in the department's table. So both, you know, these columns, all these columns are not coming from a single table. They're spread across two different tables. So obviously, if I have to retrieve this output, then I will have to join these two tables. Okay, so to join these two tables in SQL Server, we have got different types of joins. For example, we have inner join, outer join, and cross joins. And again, the outer joins in SQL Server, which we'll be talking about in a bit, are divided into three different categories. Left outer join, right outer join, or full and full outer join. Okay, you can say left outer, right outer, full outer, or you can just say left join, right join, or full join. Now let's talk about inner join. Now let's say, you know, I want output like this. You know, I want the name of the person, their gender, salary, and the department name. Okay, so let's see how we do this using inner join. Okay, and look at this. If you have two tables, you know, in the inner join, the matching rows between the two tables are retrieved. For example, if you look at the employee table here, you know, everybody has department ID except James and Russell. If you look at James and Russell's record, the department IDs are null, which means these rows doesn't have a matching department ID from the department, you know, department's table. So when I join these two tables using inner join, only the matching rows between these two tables are retrieved, which means the matching rows between these two tables are, you know, these eight rows from 1 till 8, which is what I'm getting. And if you look at the output, I don't get James and Russell's records. Why? Because their department ID does not match with the ID column in the department's table. So inner join will only give you matching rows between both the tables involved in a join. Now let's see how to write the inner join query itself. So if you look at the two tables that we have, in employee table, we have got 10 rows, and in the department's table, we have got four rows. And what do we want? We want the name, gender, salary, and department name columns in the output. From which table? From TBL employee table. And you know the first three columns are present in TBL employee table, but the department name column is present in the department's table. So I will have to join with that table. And to join with that table, you use the join keyword. So TBL department. So we are saying I want to join TBL employee table with TBL department table. Okay. Now, if you want to join these two tables, how do you want to join these two tables? What's the common column between them? The common column is the department ID column. And to specify the join condition, you use the on clause. So on TBL employee, so in the table employee, we have the department ID column. So use that to look up TBL department table and the ID column within that table. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Select whatever columns you want from, you know, TBL employee. Now, I want to join this table with the TBL department. So we use the join keyword 
on how do you want to join those two tables now between these two tables the common column is the department ID you know department ID in TBL employee table join that with ID column in TBL department table so obviously if we execute this query we should get eight records okay now if we execute all of them together okay and if you look at the output here in the messages in the TBL employees table we got eight rows in departments we got four rows and in the join query we only got eight rows why because if you look at James and Russell their records doesn't have a matching department ID that's why inner join has not returned those two records so if you look at the join output we don't have James and Russell's records in the output. We only have the matching records between these two tables. Okay, and when you write uh, an inner join query, you can say inner join or just join. I would say always write inner join because this will say your intentions explicitly. Okay, all right. So that's about inner join. So inner join returns only the matching rows between both the tables. Non-matching rows are eliminated. Okay. Now let's say my requirement is in such a way that I not only want the matching rows, I want the non-matching rows as well from the employees. Well, basically I'm saying I want all the employees, irrespective of whether they are assigned to a department or not, I want all the employees. So how do we do that? So indirectly, you are saying, okay, I want the matching rows plus the non-matching rows from the employees table which means you want everything from the left table matching and non-matching okay that's when you actually go for left join so if you look at left join returns all the matching rows plus non-matching rows from the left table so there are eight matching rows so this department ID matches all for these eight rows the department IDs match with the department IDs but these two rows doesn't have a matching department ID okay so but in departments table we have total 10 rows so all matching and non-matching rows will be retrieved when you use a left join so when we write a left join query we should get 10 rows so how do we write the left join query you know everything remains exactly similar except that instead of inner join you will say left join that's it look at this previously we have got eight records when we executed that query but let's now execute this and see how many records we get so we first go to the messages look at this in employees table we have got 10 rows in departments 4 rows and in the query left join query that we have written we've got 10 rows again so if you look at the output now we should have got both James and Russell's records as well but if you look at the department name column it's basically null. and it makes sense why because they don't have a department ID they are not assigned a department yet so that's why department name will be null. okay so left join basically returns all the matching rows between both the tables plus non matching rows from the left table and this picture depicts exactly that scenario and when you use a left join you can say le just left join or you can say left outer join okay the query results will not be affected so the outer keyword is optional there all right now let's say I want all the rows from the right table including if you, if you look at the the two tables here you know you have a department called other department and that department's ID is 4 now this no employee in the employees table belongs to this other department okay so if there is a requirement you know if somebody asks you okay give me all the employees okay which means I want all the matching records between both the tables plus you know non matching records from the right table okay so from the departments table I want you know other department record as well irrespective of whether there is an employee assigned to that department or not so we want all the rows from the right table okay plus I mean all the rows including the non matching ones okay so basically right join will return you all the matching rows between both the tables plus non matching rows from the right table okay so let's see what happens you know if we convert this left outer join
to right outer join. Okay, so between employees and department table, there are eight matching rows. And in the TBL department table, there is this other department which, you know, no other employee, I mean, no employee belongs to this other department. Okay, so obviously, this other department row does not have a matching record in employees table. Okay, and we want this record as well. Okay, so how do we do that? Using right outer join. So when we execute this, we should get around nine records. So nine records. So look at this, all the matching rows until Sarah we have got and other department row. Okay, and if you look at the name, gender, and salary columns are null. Why? Because no employee is assigned to this department. So obviously you will not have any name, gender, or salary. Okay, so obviously whenever you want to return all the matching rows between both the tables that are involved in a join plus non-matching rows from the right table, that's when we go for right outer join. Okay, so you might have guessed by now if I want all the matching rows between both the tables plus non-matching rows from the left table and non-matching rows from the right table, then what type of join do I use? Full join. So full outer join gives me exactly that result. These are the matching rows from both the tables. These two are non-matching rows from the left table. And the last row here, other department, is the non-matching row in the right table. Full outer join will give you all the records from both the left and right tables, including the non-matching rows. OK? So obviously, when we execute this query, we should get around 11 records. Eight matching records plus two non matching from left and one non matching from the right table. So, how do we write a full outer join query? Just specify full outer join. So, when we execute this query, you should see until here all these are matching records. These two are non matching records in the employee table, and this is a non matching record in the department's table. So, together we have 11 records. Again, you can specify full outer join or just say full join. OK, so, so far we have seen inner join, left join, right join, and outer join, uh, full outer join. OK, but apart from all these types of joins, we also have another join called cross join. So what does a cross join do, and how do I write that query? First, let's write the query, you know, and we'll look at the output, and then we'll decide what cross join is going to do. So if it's a cross join, instead of saying full outer join, all I say is cross join. Now remember, a cross join will not have an on clause. Okay, I'll 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 tell you in a bit why a cross join shouldn't have an on clause. So when I delete that cross join, and then when I execute this query, look at this. Look at the number of rows that we are getting: 40 rows. And if you remember, how many rows are there in these tables? 10 rows in the employees table and 4 rows in the departments table. And when, I, when we execute the cross join query, we are getting 40 rows. So basically what's happening, the number of rows in the employees table is being multiplied by the number of rows in the departments table. So a cross join will give us the Cartesian product of the tables that are involved in the cross join. Okay, so that's what cross join is all about. Cross join produces the Cartesian product of the two tables involved in the join. For example, in the employees table, if we have 10 records in the department's table, if we have four records, a cross join would produce 40 rows between these two tables. And as I told you, cross join shouldn't have an on clause. Okay, so what basically a cross join does is it will take each record from the right table and then associate that with every record in the left table. So in the departments table, we have got four rows, you know, IT, payroll, HR, and other department. So it will take IT row from the departments table, associate that to every one of the employee in the employees table. And similarly, it will take the next record, which is payroll, and associate that. So it basically gives us, you know, the number of rows in the employees table multiplied by the number of rows in the departments table. So it gives us a Cartesian product. And since this gives us a Cartesian product, it doesn't really make sense to have, uh, you know, an on clause for, for cross join. Okay. And look at this. So far, we have seen, you know. 
writing query for joins you know we have seen how to write inner join left outer right outer full outer and cross join now you know depending on what we have done until now it's pretty simple to to develop a generic formula for joins so what is that select what columns you want or just say column list okay select your column list for example I want name gender salary department name etc select column list from you know maybe your left table and then you specify the join type inner join cross join whatever and once you specify the join type you know with which table you are joining so right table and on clause for specifying join condition okay so if you compare this with what we have okay look at this uh, if it's an inner join you know it would have been something like this so inner join and on we will have TBL department dot ID is equal to TBL employee dot department ID so if you compare this generic formula with this inner join query you know it exactly fits in select whatever columns we want from clause the left table and then the join type here it's an inner join so we are specifying inner join otherwise if it's a cross jo you know left join we say left join right right join etc and then finally on clause and your join condition so this is the generic formula you know if you have a hard time you know remembering the syntax for joins all right so in summary cross join returns the cartesian products of the tables involved in the join whereas inner join returns only the matching rows non matching rows between the tables are eliminated you know look at these pictures which will make the understanding of joins pretty much easy okay so if you look at the inner join only matching rows left join matching rows plus non matching rows from the left table and right join matching rows plus non matching rows from the right table whereas full join matching rows between both the tables non matching from the left and non matching from the right okay on this slide you can find resources for asp.net and c sharp interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day